hello, welcome back. Um, we just want to give you guys a little update on the progress that we've been making in the various things that were to be continued <laughs> last time. Um, I guess the first one, are we going to go in order or just random? There's an order? Yeah, to be continued with the beams was the first to be continued, wasn't it? Well, they're in there and we're out here, so I'm going to say no to that order. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so bright. Yeah. Uh, get your hand out of your face. <laughs> um, I guess, right. yeah, but you just have to suck it up as an actress. Actress yeah. <laughs> is the scripted reality yeah, that's there. That's right. Uh, okay. We wrote all this. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we're outside apparently, so we have to talk about the tractor. Um, mower. Uh, it's a mower. It's the mower, yes. And then we'll, we'll <laughs> stick up some um, funny footage of me uh, sort of out of control trying to drive this thing. Um, yep. So, we got my dad over. He used to be a, a lawnmower uh, sort of repair man. Um, he discovered the tyres were pumped up to way, way beyond what they were supposed to be. So they were deflated a bit. Um, and also he was wangling around with the settings. Um, and we think we have something that now works, even though it's still not as designed. We think we can sort of nurse it through. Um, mm. So let's go and see if um, we can make it work as in a demo. <laughs> let's go. Okay, there she goes. And this bit up here was the bit that we were really having trouble with, the downhill slope. Um, so let's see how she does with the new knowledge. <laughs> yeah, so it's not, it's not really ideal. She's come to a complete stop there, but um, at least it wasn't running away. And what we've learned that you have to do, in fact, is to put it into reverse or neutral to get it to not run away when you're going downhill because it's a hydrostatic drive. Um, so what that means is that there's no direct contact between the engine and the wheels. It's um, all done with hydraulic fluid. Uh, and so in this case, this particular mower obviously is not a very high quality implementation of that and so we have to nurse it through but at least we can mow so that's a good thing oh have you broken it what's that okay high quality per product there let's pull the handle right off good work off you go honestly already quite hot yep yep two minutes in the garden boiling <laughs> how many degrees is it going to be today 37 or so i think yeah it's kind of hot we got a heat yeah. wave we got a red meteo alert for heat wave didn't we yeah well kind no of... not our department we're orange we're ah, actually but france we're... has <laughs> yeah yeah some departments of france have got red mm. scorchio yep <laughs> <laughs> um anyway you join us in the sort of library area mm -hmm. um and this is the uh a video from the video you would have seen before with me chipping away at the woodworm um in here and i wanted to give you a little update on what we did with that so far um so i did um another treatment of the high pressure injection stuff in here to kill off the infestation um <clears throat> while we wait for a better solution because ultimately we've got to pull all these beams out and replace them with something else um and we've got a little bit of a problem because of um several different factors right the first problem is just the span the span length unsupported from here to here is um six and a half meters and that is a very unusually large span so you can't really generally get pieces of wood that are cut in that size and if you do 
they're absolutely enormous. Um, so what's happened is uh, the, these pieces of wood up here are under specification by quite a long way. Um, there were also bizarre dimensions, but we won't get into that. But there's another problem as well, um, which is why we can't put up um, I-beams instead, which is the supporting wall on this side. So the supporting wall on this side, which is the other end um, of the room, is in fact timber. It's a timber wall with stone cladding. So this, this stonework is not actually really as part of the supporting structure. Um, so it's really just being held up by these bits of um, ancient wood here. And if we come down here, you can see that on the bottom here, come on, focus. You can see that along the bottom here, where the stone is actually just resting on a wooden sort of sill support. So it's not, it, the stonework does not make up a major part of the supporting structure, which means that we can't um, use I-beams on here or a concrete floor above here because this wall is not strong enough. So we've got a bit of a problem there, uh, which is why we haven't done anything just yet. I'm basically researching. I'm trying to find the latest um, sort of modern design technology um, in order to span large areas um, with a light uh, structural uh, component, maybe an open web framework, something like that. I'll put up some images of what that looks like. Um, so yeah, we're still researching and developing um, a way to fix this problem. So that's where we are with that. We're in R and D, are we? Yeah, basically. Okay. <laughs> we're not developing, <laughs> just researching. <laughs> we're still researching a way to fix this problem. With no developing at all. No. <laughs> Okay, so the aircon um, up here was another project that was sort of, is it going to work or isn't it? And the answer is, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't make any difference to the floor uh, beneath us. So let's have a look. So, so our first problem <laughs> in aiming for the floor below is that these vents don't point downwards. <laughs> so we can only sort of blast the air upwards um, so it just doesn't have the kind of span and the spread to hit the floor below and yeah what were you going to say what was your thoughts on the matter it doesn't work <laughs> no it works and it makes it's a working air con but it's not at all in the right position here no well it calls this floor yeah down very nicely but we're not sleeping on this floor we're sleeping on that floor of, of which it makes absolutely no difference so the cold air tumbling down theory <laughs> is not a worker it's let you down didn't it sadly in this case <laughs> physics did not come to my rescue um so we're gonna have to figure out another way of doing it and what i'm probably gonna have to do uh is make another fake window but on a much larger scale for the bottom floor Okay, so here we are on the floor that actually needs the uh, cool air going to it. Um, so what I'm probably thinking I'm going to do is um, make a fake window over here. Here is the problem that we're facing. These windows are absolutely enormous. Um, this is just one of our bedroom hallway windows. They open like this. Um, so it's a quite a big area and what I'm probably going to have to do is make a a frame here to go around the outside of this stonework which I can then attach a sort of big sheet to with a hole cut into it essentially. Not a big sheet of bed linen, no. Um, <laughs> solid piece of wood of some description so that uh, we can just have something um, to stop the hot air coming back in after we pump it out. Uh, yeah, so that's a bit of a fail but we live and learn. Um, we just make it up as we go along, aren't we? <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah. we don't want air conditioning units stuck to the outside of the house. We don't yeah. want to drill a hole in the um, 
200 year old stone chateau just for our purposes. No. That isn't happening. Take out so any panes of glass. No. Put horrible bits of cardboard in there or anything. It's, so. got, it's got to be done sympathetically um, and with the minimal amount of um, just damage basically. Yeah. And temporarily as well. We've got to be mm. able to take it up and down and not have it ruining the uh, chateau's visage. Yeah, the face of the chateau. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to the attic. Um, this also has a problem with woodworm. Um, we did get a back a quote from a guy for sandblasting, but it was just silly money, um, like something like four and a half grand, just for this area, and then we'd have to treat it as well. So um, what we decided to do was high pressure inject all this area. So we've been uh, drilling um, holes and plugging it with the um, plugs, mm -hmm. and I've done a little bit of it. You can see here that the plugs with the little yellow marks is where I've been drilling and injecting and the little yellow marks are for where I've actually um, done the injection so that I don't forget what I'm doing. Um, yeah, but we ran out of um, plugs so um, we're still ongoing in this. We're still filming actually this section, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so there we are. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, we still got all of the rest of it to do behind me, but um, we run out of plugs, uh, so they they they're on order. And also, we discovered they're a new size, so we had to order mm. some. Oh, sorry, I'm boring you, darling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we had sorry. to order some uh, um, new drill bits because they're nine and a half mil rather than nine, which is lovely. So yeah, uh, there we are. <laughs> I'm not opening that bloody door again. It's massive. What do you mean it's outside the door? Have a look. Wait. It was um, just having a snuffle along um, over here on the right. What? Outside the front of our house. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we are in the garden. A little bonus update. Um, on the hogs. Um, let's see if we can put you in um, perspective. Um, this is the sort of greater extended garden area which we haven't really shown before. Um, this tree is in full leaf. The chateau is behind it. Uh, if I just duck down, you can just see the chateau um, here is, is here. We've got hog sign, haven't we? We have got hog sign. Hog sign. Hog so sign the likes of which. Do the full quote if you're going to start quoting remember. things. Hog sign the likes of which God has never seen. That's the one. Is that it? That's the one. <laughs> there we go. A little June quote for you there. So this is what hog sign looks like. Um, and it's basically just um, unearthed earth, dug up earth, I suppose you would. Snuffled. Snuffled earth, you would call it. And it's down here. Well, that isn't the, um, the most uh, prominent. Um, if you follow me, well, you oh, will follow really? us. really? Let's walk this way into the more jungly area. Follow the jungly steps. Yeah, and look, and look here. So here, oh yes. all of this, all of this stuff here is just hog sign. And it's all up here as well, around these trees. Down there. Down here, along here. And all of this, look at this. All of this up here is hog sign. And it's all the way along here, basically, into this jungly area. This didn't look like this last year. It definitely wasn't all kind of overturned and churned up. So something's been through here. And it's hogged. Yep. We got hogs. Um, we've not actually seen them sort of with our uh, eyes um, after the sort of major incidents that yeah. occurred. Um, but we've seen the marks of them and, and what's happened here is because this area is a bit untended um, they just love it 
basically. Yeah. So what we're going to need to do is a bit of extreme gardening. So we called out a gardener because this area is just too big for us um, to do by ourselves. So um, hopefully in July, which is a month or two away, um, he's going to be able to give us a little hand here. Okay, so there you go. Um, sorry, this isn't a, a sort of a full story um, kind of a video. It's um, uh, our little girl's been sick, so we haven't really had time to work on any major projects, and we've yeah. been sort of between um, things with the beams. Um, but we'll get back to it as soon as we can. Um, so future video. Oh right, okay. Paul, we'll just Paul is let loose in the kitchen to make something, and. Uh, hilarity ensues. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So stay, stay tuned for that one. Yep. And we'll see you on the next one. See you next time. Bye. Bye.